I was pretty obsessed with irises at the time. They'd invaded my dreams. I love the opposing petal shapes. There are three tall upright petals and three lower ones that fall away from the flower. They seem to hold on to a really large volume within these thin but incredibly complicated petals. I watched some yellow and purple ones bloom in our garden and I'd seen them all round our older neighbourhood. They must have been here for a long time being handed around between the different gardeners. I was a jewellery and metal student when I started the iris petals and I wanted them to be much larger than life. Pieces that could capture a short-lived event, the blooming of flowers and hold on to all that beauty. The petals were made by hand using traditional metalworking techniques like forming, raising, chasing and repoussé. It would be the size that would make them unusual, even though I was working within the traditions of the decorative arts movement. Copper was the first metal that humans worked with and we used it to develop really resilient and adaptable bronzes and brasses over the last 5,000 years. Aluminium is very much the bright, ambitious youngster. It only came into production at the end of the 19th century. I used the metals to share the main ideas that I was working with. I related how long humans have worked with a particular metal to the human life cycle, and then how the petal sizes, metals and colours could also reflect on stereotypical views of ageing. Inevitably, this collided with thinking about just how much of these resources we might have left. And here we are, approaching the last generation of mineable copper. It's an essential but waning resource. <laughs> 